Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's topic is going to be um, uh, how to increase your strength. So, so before we start, I just want to say I'm not a strength coach or like like strength and conditioning coach. I haven't got any qualification like when it comes to like training someone to increase their strength or whatever. So like this is just just me doing like talking to you about what I personally do and what I've learned over the years on how to increase your strength on your compound lifts or anything like anything in general in the gym and i feel like um if it works for me like should it should it should work for um a lot of you guys out there so yeah i'll just talk to you about a few a few different points that i've done o over the years and i uh, hopefully if you if you do like so hopefully if you do these um steps like in your training then 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 you should increase your strength as well. So my point number one is going to be um, basically train, like train. Uh, so train consistently is the key. So if you like, if you're going to train um, not that frequently, your your strength will not in increase. So like depending uh, what type of training you do, like either powerlifting, like bodybuilding. Or just mixture of both. You like you have to train consistently. Otherwise, I mean, like, I mean, like you all know yourself. Like if you haven't trained for like um like some time, and then like when you go back, you you obviously are gonna feel weak. So like therefore, you're not gonna be able to increase over time. Like you're not gonna increase your strength. So uh, so so the point is basically is to train all the time. Train train consistently. And so my so my next point is going to be is basically um, which links to that which is progressive overload. So it's called progressive overload. So uh, uh, I'm sure you uh, I'm sure uh, like I'm sure you heard that phrase before. So that it basically means like to like summarize it is train harder than last time, which um, it can mean to increase the weight, increase the reps, increase time under tension. Just anything that make that will make it harder than last time is like progressive overload, and but but you don't have to do progressive overload like every day. I would say like train train with the same weight for like a week or two weeks maximum, or even a month, and then obviously after that increase the weight, the reps or whatever it is. But I feel like. You, like you can progressive overload like when it comes to reps like more frequently than when it, it comes to increasing the weight so make sure you train consistently train consistent train consistently do a progressive overload when it comes to your training so like for example um if you're like trying to get get a stronger in your bench make sure you're like increasing the weight and, and testing yourself and like challenging yourself once in a while, not not once in a while, like quite like frequently. So, if you feel like you're doing um, like a weight really easily, then obviously you have to increase the weight for like in order to get stronger. But make sure you like so, but make sure you always have a spotter behind you, like just to be safe. So like obviously like you don't want to injure yourself. That will obviously not going to get you stronger. So the, the third point is going to be, which kind of links to the first two as well, which is your diet and like, like your, um, how much water you drink. So your diet is really, really important when it comes to increasing your strength. So you, you generally need to put a calorie surplus or your maintenance calorie in order to like, like, like consistent, in order to like continue. In order to like continuously going, um, like getting stronger, you, you, you like generally need to run a calorie surplus. Cause, um, like you all know, like when we were like bulking, it's like it's when we we're the most strongest. So, like you have to make sure you're eating the right food and the right amount, your calories are good, you're like you're on a surplus and you're drinking a lot of water, which is really, really key to be hydrated when you're in the gym and obviously when you're out of the gym as well. So train, so train, train, consist, train consistently. Make sure you're doing progressive overload, and 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 make sure your diet and your like water is on point. So then my fourth point is going to be um, doing your warm rep maxes. Like 
but that means is basically just testing yourself once um as much as you can basically so if you're going to the gym and you're doing going to do a squat if you're doing your squatting um so if you see your squat day today make sure you 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 like you go as heavy as you can for that day so like say if you want rep max is i don't know for example uh four plates on squat then make sure you're every time you like every time you do squat make so make sure you're trying to always go as close as possible to that uh what you want rep max and obviously and then after you come down and then do your working sets which is really really key like like same goes for anything your bench deadlift always try and do as heavy as you can for that day like a one rep max and then after you come down then you do your um like like loads of reps and sets and then then the next time you come then then you can try and go as heavy as you can for that day then after you come down and then do loads of sets and reps so um and then so, so my next point is going to be about basically doing your compound exercises all the time so like for me I, like in personally so all these points is what I personally do so like for me I would do compound every day so if I'm doing chest I would do bench legs I would do squat uh, back I would do deadlift so like like generally all, all the time unless I'm really really sore or I've got, got like a back pain or anything like that then I then I want to do something but generally if I'm doing legs I would do squat all the time bare back bench for chest bench for back I would do deadlift so the more the more you do it like depending how quickly you like you recover the more the more like faster you're going to get like like get stronger in them obviously like it depends how like how fast you recover so if you're sore or got any pain or anything like that don't don't risk um don't risk getting injured it's just not worth it so if you're feeling fine just make sure you do like compound like as much as you can and then not have a long breaks in between them so my second so my uh, one two three four. So, so so my next point is going to be about your accessory movement or uh, things you can do to get stronger in something so like so if for example if you're doing your squat today so after you've done your squats make sure you do your accessory works to get your other parts of the leg stronger um by that by that i mean is um the more so the more stronger your hamstring are and quads are like all together the more you, the more you can squat so so you so if you just train your quads and and you like neglect your hamstring your legs are not going to be as strong as if you train both of them equally so um, so after you done your squats make sure you go and do your accessory uh, like machines like your leg curls leg extension lunges and all that so that will make sure your legs in overall are strong and the same um like the same strength level for your quads hamstring and and all that so um, that's it the same goes for your um bench back and everything you like after you've done your bench press make sure you go and do your incline work flies uh, decline and all that that will ensure that your all parts of your chest are on the same level of strength for back same thing after you've done deadlift you can do rows lat pull down pull ups and all that will ensure that your whole back is the same level of strength and the main the key is to work on your core so so guys you have to remember the heart to the stronger your core is the overall strength is going to be better so if your core is strong you can squat heavier deadlift heavier bench um you can bench more and all that so make sure you're always working on your core Another point is going to be about they can like always do different exercises to get you, get get something else stronger. So for example, if you're trying to get your back um, back barbell squat stronger, make sure like you're doing stuff like front squats, um, heavy leg presses. So that will ensure that when it comes to doing your squatting, like normal barbell back um, back squat, you're going to be able to do more like heavier weight because you're um did did the like so because you did the um accessory movements and other type of squats then like it means your normal squat is going to be um better out and you're able to get uh, do more heavier weights the same goes for your bench to increase your bench press you like you have to make sure your triceps are really strong as well 
So you can always do um, close screw bench press to, to, to increase your triceps. Because you have to remember is when you're bench pressing, your triceps and your shoulders are like working as well. And depending obviously your form and stuff, your triceps, so the more stronger your tricep is, the more like the more weight like you you should be able to push when you're doing a bench press. The same goes for your shoulder movements. So, 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 so make sure you're not like neglecting any muscle when it comes to like working out. The same, like, same goes for your back. So, so I don't know if you guys know to increase the lift, uh, people say you should do your, uh, like should do front squats as well. And obviously like, like your deadlift, half of it is your lower body. So the stronger your squat is, your, and your legs are, the, the more, you should be able to deadlift. So the bottom line is don't focus on just do you like doing a squat then you go home. Make sure you're doing your accessory works, like you're doing your whole legs, you're training them properly, equally. So when it comes to you doing your one rep maxes or gain your compound lifts, you like higher, your whole, so the whole muscle is gonna, is gonna work together. Because if you have one strong pie and one weak pie, like your um, overall strength is not going to be as high if you have both of the same uh, of the muscle on the same level of strength. And then my some, some last point is going to be is basically rest, which is really really key. Obviously, I mentioned before that train as, as much as you can, like as literally all the time. Like me personally, I would have like hardly any rest days, but that's because I've trained for like for, for, for like. A long time for like years so like for me i i, I recover like quicker as well and obviously like me like your diet and your water so that so the more you're good you're with your diet the more the faster you're going to recover therefore you can train more times so like the key and the reason the resting is really important is because that will obviously ensure your muscle um rest recover and then grow because if you train um if you, like like um like if you train too much then obviously after a while your body will crash so you need to rest sometimes like 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 listen to your body like if you're feeling you got lower back pain don't go and do deadlift or squats do your bench if you have your like pains on your shoulder or anything like that don't like go and try and push heavy on your bench presses so just just like so so just listen to your body and do all these points as I said. So, so I'll go through those points again. So train, train, so train consistently with progressive overload. Make sure your diet and your water is on point. Test yourself in the gym. Do your um, always go for your one rep max. Um, do do you so, so do your compound lifts as much as you can on it and every session, and then do your accessory works and other movements to uh, make sure your muscle is working as a, as one and the last is obviously obviously make sure you make so make sure you rest as much as you need to um like make sure you rest if you're like a beginner after a while the more you train the more your body is going to be used to it then the less rest you're going to need so and then just to finish off just just to remind you guys this is like basically what i personally do it's not i'm not qualified or, or anything like that this is all all these points is what I personally do done and done over the years and just by learning from like literally watching videos like I'm doing now. So, so I believe that if it works for me, then, then these things should work for you and you should get stronger. So, so yeah, thanks for, so uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys learned something and then make sure you to follow my Instagram. Um, the links down below so you can DH DM me and email me any questions you have and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.